The Witcher 4 is coming and CD Projekt Red have just given some exciting update on their development of this game. They've also given us some details on what new changes we're going to be seeing in the upcoming Witcher 4 and how different is it going to be from the predecessor Witcher 3 title. Now starting off, it seems like CD Projekt Red is a bit more overconfident when it comes to promoting the Witcher 4. And this was the same tactics that they used for Cyberpunk 2077 and we all know how that landed for CDPR when the game was released as an unplayable version everything went downhill ever since and now it seems like city project red are back into mocking other developers and this time they decided to go ahead and make fun of ubisoft for the recently released game called skull and bones now as you know this was a pirate game that ubisoft released and although skull and bones was actually not a very good game it was not something that fans really expected after all the years of development and for some reason ubisoft still considers that skull and bones is not a triple a game but it is a 4a game which means means that it's super high budget title and a lot of developers have been working on this game which actually is true because this game was in development for like so many years now the first time they announced the skull and bones it was all the way back in 2017 and now the game released in 2024 which means that the game was in development even before the seven years of gap because ubisoft says that skull and bones actually took about 200 million dollars in order to develop this game now if you compare that to Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which is obviously a far better game than what Skull and Bones is. Black Flag actually took only about 100 million. So this is an extra 100 million dollars and due to which Ubisoft decided to call this a 4A game. Now CD Projekt Red being who they are, they have now decided to finally give us new teasers, new announcements about The Witcher 4 and they're now just mocking Ubisoft that if Skull and Bones is a 4A game, then The Witcher 4 is going to be a 5A game. Now for some reason, I just find it that CD Projekt Red just loves mocking other developers. Now, the same thing went on with Cyberpunk 2077, where they mocked Ubisoft and plenty of other developers for all the microtransactions and how bad the open world games were back in those times. And Cyberpunk 2077 was supposed to be the one game that was going to change the future of gaming. But we all know how that ended up for CDPR and everything went downhill ever since. And now they're back once again and they're trying to mock Ubisoft with their upcoming Witcher 4. But however, I'm just hoping that this is somehow true, that Witcher 4 could actually end up being a 5A game that has at least a minimum budget of about $500 million maybe. CD Projekt Red says that Witcher 4 is going to be releasing somewhere around 2026. That's still very far away from when we have been expecting this game. And to be honest, I was expecting Witcher 4 to be coming out sometime in 2025, but it seems like that's not the case anymore. Now, apart from this, CD Projekt Red have also said that the Witcher 4 is set to be the game that will take a huge leap in graphics compared to the Witcher 3 and the team is reportedly using the brand new Unreal Engine 5 and of course it's not the Unreal Engine 5.4 it's still the older version but still the graphics for Unreal Engine 5 is just insane now it is also believed that Geralt is going to make a return to this game although it's unclear and very unlikely that he could be a protagonist of this game since the new Witcher game is called the Witcher and new saga so a new saga basically means that we're we're going to be getting a new witcher and a new storyline and it's also going to be a story that's related to a completely different witcher school so this means that although we might be seeing Geralt and Ciri return into the storyline it's still very unclear that either of these two could be the protagonist of the game if you ask me though i really want to see a brand new witcher i've had my fair share of Geralt, and i would love to go ahead and explore some new characters new storylines because we've already received a trilogy for Geralt from witcher 1 to 3 and now it's finally time that we get to see new characters along with the new Witcher school. Now CD Projekt Red has also said that coming 2024 they're going to be releasing official mod support for the new Witcher 3's next gen upgraded version which is going to be absolutely free of course and players will finally be able to get some official graphics mods and plenty of stuff that is going to be available for all the PC users. Now I don't know if this is going to be an option that's also going to come to console players because now that the mods are going to be official maybe they could be releasing these mods for consoles as well so it could be some sort of an update or some add-on extra dlc content that you could just download and install those packs and your mods are going to be in the game so this could be possible if they release some official mods for the witcher 3's next gen update which was recently released and we're really looking forward to seeing what cd project red has in store when it comes to the new mods and the latest collaborations that they've been making with the modding community now of course we'll be getting more information about the upcoming 
upcoming Witcher 4 and I will of course keep you guys updated right here on this channel so make sure to go ahead stay subscribed it's absolutely free of cost to be subscribed on YouTube so take advantage of it because all of my subscribers are updated with all the latest gaming news every single day so what are you waiting for so go ahead and join the community we're getting super close to 200,000 followers thanks to all of you guys who've been showing incredible support to the channel and for all the guys who have been commenting and giving me your feedbacks on every single videos I read all of your comments I reply to as many of you guys as I possibly can and I just love going through comments and replying to you guys and just having a conversation it just makes me feel alive that I'm making videos for you guys and it's really appreciated when you guys show your support like these it kind of does mean a lot now, with that being said let me know down below in the comments would you guys like the new Witcher 4 or if you would like to call it the Witcher a new saga to have Geralt as a protagonist or would you like to see a completely different character let me know what your answer is I will look and read it all of your comments and reply to as many of you guys as I possibly can now with that being said I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video until then take it easy fams and goodbye